Now that we've got the exterior walls placed, we'll go ahead and start placing doors. So let's start by opening the Place Door dialog. Again, we have catalogs of doors to choose from. Just select the first one there. We want to select the origin for, for the door, whether we want to use one of the uh, side frames or the center of the door. And then again, we have dimensions that we can input that affect the overall size of different features of the door. One to pay attention to is the actual frame depth of the door. We could put in a dimension or we can simply select the match wall option and it will make the frame the thickness of the wall that we select to put the door in. We could adjust the height of the door, the width of the door, and so forth. We could also adjust the angle of the swing if we want to have a 45 degree swing, we can do that. And that is affecting the 2D symbology of the door. So these cells have both a 2D portion and a 3D portion. The 3D portion is used in the model, of course, and the 2D portion is what is symbolized on the drawings, particularly the plan drawings. And once we have the placement options set, again, we have properties of the door that we could set as well. For instance, we could put in a product manufacturer, model number, and even the product URL or website. And then we're ready to place the door. And once again, we want to just double check our floor elevation as well as our ACS icon locks. Then I simply select the wall that I want to place the door in. I can slide the door then along that wall to determine its placement point. I can use the standard AccuDraw shortcuts. For instance, if I wanted to place that door centered between those two column lines, I can simply do the offset origin, select the two points, and divide in half. Then I determine which way the swing goes, and the door is placed. 